Hello, beautiful, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world. And this day, this day is a very, very, very good day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful, wonderful loved ones. My black brothers and sisters, my black, intelligent, beautiful brothers and sisters. Know this. Do not be fooled by white folks. Do not be manipulated by white folks. Do not, <clears throat> do not place any confidence and trust in white folks. Listen, I was out there for 42 years. I was out there on the plantation, working with mostly white folks because the profession that I was in, and I was very good at it, by the way, during those 42 years, I only connected with three black men, no black women, that were practicing, working in that profession that I was in. Hence is why I say 99% of the people that I worked with for those 42 years or so were white folks. Were white folks. I have been stabbed in the back, many times by white folks. They have smiled in my face and then stabbed me in the back. I am not, uh, I am not revengeful. I am not looking for retribution. I am just stating facts regarding my experiences with white folks. I was even stabbed in the back by one Hispanic guy that was envious and and he had been socially engineered like a lot of Hispanic folks are. They are socially engineered to the point to think that because they are more European looking than I am, then therefore they are better than me. These white folks today, in July of 2020, are very, very ridiculous white folks. You take this little punk-ass white boy, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio. He is so disconnected, so disconnected from the black racial group until he mistakenly well it wasn't a mistake it was just his ignorance his stupidity he confused congressperson Elijah Cummings with John Lewis with US congressman John Lewis he got those two confused in a statement that this hypocrite, Marco Rubio, this racist Republican bastard, trying to disrespect John Lewis upon the death. A lot of white folks, they will do that. They will try to get some repentance, some acceptance from black folks and other liberal white folks when a black person pass away like John Lewis did, you will hear these disrespectful, hateful, 
ignorant white folks praising the dead black person like John Lewis. And from my perspective, the greatest disrespect is, is for your enemies to praise you. When an enemy praise you, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, they are disrespecting you. Even within it, within your death, like John Lewis, they are still disrespecting John Lewis. They disrespected him when he were alive, and these white racist Republicans like Marco Rubio, Mitch McConnell, Trump are still disrespecting him with this fake praising of John Lewis after his death. The greatest disrespect to any of us black folks is for our racist, oppressive, hateful, white enemies to praise us after we die. That's total disrespect from my perspective. Look how Donald Trump, he was so ignorant, he thought that Frederick Douglass was still alive. He's so disconnected from the black racial group because he's a white supremacist. He thought that Frederick Douglass was still alive today in 2020. And another white person that I want to mention, he, were, he had a show for about 20 years on MSNBC. I believe it was called Hardball, and his name is Chris Matthews. Now, I suspect that he was a Democrat, but I saw uh, not too long ago, maybe three or four months ago, when he was still on television, he confused the black U.S. senator Republican U.S. Senator Tim Scott with a Democratic candidate, black Democratic candidate out of South Carolina that is running against Lindsey Graham. And the black Democrat's name is Jamie Harrison. Well, Chris Matthews confused those two on national television. Again, showing me that even he, a Democrat, was totally disconnected from the black racial group. And we get that a lot from these ignorant, racist white folks like Trump, Mitch McConnell, Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, and the likes. These folks are not to be trusted. These folks are not to be believed because when their lips are moving, they are lying to us, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. I am on a mission. I'm on a mission to free the minds, to liberate the minds of black folks right here on this plantation called America and globally. And to do that, I must tell the truth about white folks. I must tell the truth about brown folks. I must tell the truth about black folks. 
I must tell the truth about any folks. I must tell the truth about all things. And I diligently try to do that. In all of my audio presentations, I try diligently to deal with facts and truths. I deal with facts and truths. I'm on a mission to liberate the minds of black folks. I do not quote scripture too often, but there is one that I like, and it comes out of Isaiah. It's Isaiah chapter 6, verse number 8. And it says, and I am, and I, and I am quoted. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am. Send me. Then I said, here I am. Send me. That's just my way of trying to communicate to all of my beautiful, intelligent listeners why I do what I do. I am on a, a duty. I am on a mission to liberate the mind of black folks by any means possible. To do that, I must deal with facts and truths regarding all folks and all things. That's all I have on this one.